Okay, we got our skunk all cleaned up yesterday. Smells not at all. He's perfect. So we're gonna we're gonna show you what we got to do to skin, flesh. We're gonna take care of the glands. Um, there's really no reason to be afraid of skunks. So the main thing you got to worry about is right here. This is danger zone. This is where we don't want a lot of pressure. You don't want to do no crazy jabbing the knife in nothing. So what we're going to do, first thing I always do is I always take the glands out. Because then while I'm skinning, I don't have to worry about putting pressure on them or anything like that. <clears throat> With a very sharp knife or scalpel or a razor blade, what you want to do is just get barely under the skin. Just like that. And you want to go around this little area right here that doesn't have any hair. And we want to go up just a little bit, just like that. Now we're not, we're just sticking the tip of the knife blade in there. We're not plunging the knife in, we're not doing anything crazy. It's so like I said, this is the this is the danger zone. This is the zone right here that's gonna your wife's gonna shoot you if you make a mistake. So just like that. Then we're gonna take we're gonna go right up the leg. Just like you would if you're doing a coon or anything else. There, once you get past that, you know, once you get up here with your cut, you get out of the danger zone, then you can, you know, go to town with your knife and get it right up to the leg. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Just, like I said, just go slow. Just barely get your knife in. Don't be putting any pressure. And then once you get past, you know, you're an inch or two past that that area that kind of the pressure's off. You can you can just skin them up just like that. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna slowly skin. I'm gonna use my real sharp knife there because I don't want to cut the hide my razor blade. You just want to pull up. Be very delicate. You can see all that fat. You just want to start taking that, peeling that uh, the hide away. That's not his gland. That's his gonad. Don't be all freaked out here. This is where you gotta really, like I said, take your time. This, when I say, when I, you know, skunks are time consuming, not really, but they are time consuming right here at the, the, the gun barrel end or the business end of the skunk. You gotta just take your, take your time. You know, people say, well, what do you, uh, what's a skunk worth? Well, you can get, uh, if you sell the hide to a fur buyer, you know, you're probably going to get three, four, five bucks. Um, but if you tan it, just with a home tan kit, Riddles 1000 or whatever, you know, you can, uh, it makes a really unique wall hanger. Or you can send them in and get them tanned and then you can, uh, you can sell them yourself like on eBay and stuff like that. People buy them for the novelty of it. And then you got the essence, which if you're like us, I mean, we trap, uh, we specifically go out and trap skunks here late season. Um, later on, you know, we can find a nice den and you can, uh, you can get, shoot, eight, nine skunks off a nice, nice uh, denning area. So you find a few of them and, you know, we take in all the essence, you know, the essence, man, you can get 20, 20 bucks an ounce, something like that. 30 bucks an ounce. So, you know, they can be quite lucrative. Plus, um, these are really awesome. The carcasses are awesome. Coyote and, and fox bait and 
you can use the essence yourself and you know as a as a, a call lure later in the year for for fox and coyotes um, so you know it all has its all has its use that's for sure all right now we're going to let's get this up here a little bit more Just very carefully right there this glob of meat looking stuff this is the gland that you're looking at it's right you got one on each side of the anus so you want to be very careful when you're going here I like to work from the top um, just because that's kind of where they're located this is the top of the skunk here and they're right at the base of the tail but that's what we're looking at that's what we're trying to get out right here we're not trying to get out that's what we are gonna get out we're not gonna so just that's why you want to really really sharp nice even if you want one of them little razor blades work really good too you know if you don't have one of these knives but don't uh don't dick around with your skin and knife because if you don't have it razor sharp you know you can have you can have an issue here you just want to be touching that and right there is the, the gun barrel here all right Same thing on top here. Just want to work your way around. Now, I've yet to hit one of these glands. I've never hit one. But like I say, I use a very sharp knife or a razor blade. And I just take my, just take your time. You know, you can take after we after we suck the essence out of these glands, you throw these babies down in a dirt hole. Awesome, awesome fox bait. All right, coming out very nice here. All right, there we go. That thing you see right there, that's the end of his intestine that hooks into his... Uh, heinous there we go there's the glands now this skunk is basically going to be safe to skin you can put pressure nothing's going to spray so we're going to we're going to hang him up and we're just going to keep going and show you how to, what we do to take care of the glands so we'll get him hung up there all right now that's what we're looking at there's his anus if you look inside of there you can see there's a, the two openings that he would have to, they're, they're right, right there is the opening that it would shoot you. But anyways, we usually have a bigger syringe. Well, for some reason we didn't uh, have one. You need yourself a glass jar, metal cap. Um, once you get done, you can fill this up. You can take and dip this in wax and then fill a mason jar with dirt, stick it inside there, put dirt on top, screw the cap on, bury it out in the backyard. The wife won't even know what's out there. She won't even want to shoot you. But so what we're going to do here, now all you're going to want to do is slowly, don't squeeze these and poke or you're going to have a mess on your hands. Just slowly go in there. Once you're inside, you want to start drawing that essence. And again, don't do this. Uh, don't do this where, uh, you know, in your, in your kitchen or something, or you'll probably end up with a divorce or single. Or it's probably why I stayed single so many years. But the one I got, girlfriend I got now, she sticks with me pretty good. 
All right, that baby is just about done. He had some pretty full glands. We'll get a little, try to see if we can get a little bit more out of there. Well, he's pretty much drained. So like I tell you guys, man, there's nothing, nothing to be scared about doing these skunks. Just take your time. Then you'll be fine. Don't get in a hurry. Don't get careless. Usually, like I said, I got a bigger syringe. I can get this all in one shot. I'm going to put a rag under here just in case. See that? I almost got careless. I almost knocked the dang jar over. You can get these syringes um, and the big ones at like any farm store, feed store, stuff like that. They got them. All right, pretty much empty. And that's it, you know. Some of the bigger skunks, you get a little bit more in there. You know, some you get a little bit less. There's about a, about a little less than average skunk, I would say. Now you have this, like I said. You can take and cut that in half or leave it like that. Throw that right down in a dirt hole. There's probably nothing better for coyote or fox bait right there than a skunk glands. So we're going to set that there. Um, make sure you put a cap on your syringe. You don't want to be poking yourself with it. But that's that. That's the skunk. That's the uh, the essence and the business end. And you know, now like I said, there's nothing to be scared of doing skunks, guys. Don't uh, don't fear them. Actually, when you're doing them, they'll give you a little bit of that alone time you probably need because nobody wants to come around and be messing with you. Let's get a little more light on the subject there for for you guys. Now, basically, we're gonna skin it when you skin this skunk. Um, it's just like skinning a raccoon or anything else, you know. Just ring around the foot. We'll just keep, just like I said, just the way we skin a raccoon or anything else is how we skin a skunk. And now that, like I said, the glands are gone, you don't have nothing to worry about. You can, you can put all kinds of pressure on them and everything else that's why I do the glands first because then I don't have to worry about anything happening the rest of the time I'm skinning and the skunks and they skin really easy they flesh easy and between me and you man they got some pretty nice fur and uh, you know we got uh, we run that late season skunk line along with our coon buckets and it's actually pretty fun to catch a lot of these buggers they're on uh, definitely wear gloves when you're doing this um, skunks are also the number one carrier of rabies and yes you can get it from skinning a skunk they do not have to bite you just I mean like I said don't be afraid of them don't be afraid of the essence don't be afraid of the rabies it's just just respect it don't uh, don't go in at hog wild. They have a really, skunks have a really fat, meaty, meaty tail. You guys see me eat a lot of stuff that I show you, but uh, this is one thing we're not gonna be showing you no recipes on. I ain't got no secret way of cooking a skunk. But, like I said, they make such awesome bait. And that, that's another reason why we trap them. Is they just make such great coyote and fox bait. They're definitely worth pursuing. You know, look at the claws in these things. It's pretty cool. They're made for, they're definitely made for digging. Kind of like, almost like a badger.
I don't use the the mechanical skinner and the grips on it on a skunk because they're just like I said they're so easy to skin. And this is how most guys, I mean, this is how I grew up, this is how we skinned coon and everything. We didn't have them, we didn't have fancy skinners. We get a little bit more snow out there, um, we'll do a video on specifically trapping skunks which you guys got to look for when you're when we look for the dens and stuff like that because like I say you find a den I mean you can load up on them you know six eight ten skunks out of each one and uh, it don't take long go in and gang set and got the ear now we're at the eye just same thing you know stay as close as you can if you mess it up don't freak out I mean you're not working with a million dollar hide here so if you're gonna skin it if you're gonna do this for uh taxidermy you know you're just gonna have to shop around for a taxidermist and uh they skin them totally different but so what we're gonna do we're just gonna tan them for a wall hanger so again the bottom jaw we don't need i'm gonna cut that off get down here to the nose that's it, done. So, I'll turn him out here and show you what he looks like. Definitely a fat skunk. But look at that, doesn't that look cool? We'll tan that baby up, hang it up on the wall. I mean, they got some pretty high, nice double skunk. Okay, give me a second, we're gonna be uh, back. We're gonna go over here, get it on the flesher. Uh, we're gonna flesh him out, we're gonna put him on a board, show you how that's done. So, uh, give me a second to get that all set up.